you gave a famous TED Talk on the 10 things that you must know about yourself when pitching to venture capitalists, what are two or three uh, of the most important aspects of that talk? It was actually phrased as the top 10 things that investors look for in an entrepreneur. Because when you're an investor and you're betting on an, on an entrepreneur, you're not betting on a company. This is not like buying stock in the stock market where you can look at a company's financials and see what they're doing, who their customers are. Typically, as an early stage investor, we are looking at a, an entrepreneur who has an idea for a company. And they may have a product, they may have beta, beta, a prototype, a couple of customers there, but we're not investing in a finished thing. We're investing in the promise of something. And that mm. promise lives in the entrepreneur. So um, and I, it comes down to investing in you as the entrepreneur. We call that betting the jockey, not the horse. Um, <laughs> because ultimately, every company pivots, things change, markets affect things. So the question is, we're coming down to relying on you. And we have this mm. the, in, the, in the, the video, and I also noted in the book, um, there are these 10 characteristics that are the top 10 that most investors, certainly me, look for. Um, and the number one thing, if you, if you ask people who haven't seen the video or read the book, um, you know, what is the number one thing that investors look for in a company? They will give you all kinds of answers, um, from commitment to coding skill to to networks, to whatever. And they are, in, in, you know, the number of people who actually get the first man of the box is unfortunately tiny. Because the number one thing, the number one characteristic that investors look for in a company is the entrepreneur. And the number one thing you look for in an entrepreneur is integrity. And this is, this is not a, a do good, feel good thing, I'm a goody two shoes, you know, you should just be a good person. No, this is a business decision. The reason being that when we're investing in an entrepreneur, we know that we are investing in a whole lot of known unknowns, right? We don't know what the market's going to happen. We don't know if the product's going to work. We don't know if there's something, what the com competition is doing. We don't know about anything. All we know is that we don't, we, we don't know those. So the one and only thing we can control for is do we trust the entrepreneur? Because this person is going to be making decisions as an entrepreneur every single hour, every single day. The entire company is a series of decisions as you go forward, you're picking paths to, to do. And if I don't trust you, totally, absolutely, I will never know if you're making that decision based on what's good for you or what's good for the company, and I'm an investor mm -hmm. in the company. And so therefore, integrity and a belief that whatever, you, you're going to make wrong decisions, you're going to make mistakes, we may disagree on stuff over there, that's all fine. But if I can't trust you, it calls into question every other decision you will ever make, and I can't live with that. So the number one characteristic we look for is integrity. The number two characteristic is what is driving you? What's the passion? There has to be passion there because entrepreneurs are these crazy people. Entrepreneurs do not follow normal rules. Entrepreneurs are effectively sacrificing their entire life. There is no such thing as work-life balance for an entrepreneur. There is work-life balance for people who work in startups, but not for the entrepreneur. The entrepreneur, mm -hmm. unfortunately, is sacrificing their life <clears throat> because the only thing they know how to do is start a company. It, it is this, it's like, like Gene Kelly, you know, the, the character in Singing in the Rain. He's the <laughs> hoofer coming in from, from uh, you know, Ohio to, to New York. You know, gotta dance, gotta dance. Knocks on the first door of the, of the, of the agent and they say that, and they slam in his face, and he goes to the next door. Gotta dance, gotta, and they slam in his face, he goes to the next door. Gotta dance, gotta, the same, an entrepreneur has gotta create a company, right? So therefore, what drives you there is the passion. You have to, I have never yet seen a successful entrepreneur who wasn't passionate about the company, the business they were creating. Not necessarily mm. the technology, not necessarily the marketplace, but the act of creation of the company. And that passion, it can be demonstrative passion like me. I, I know how I come across. I am, I'm loud. I speak fast. I use my hands. Um, it can be a James Earl Jones type passion, controlled, sitting there, but you sense passion. Luke, I am your father, in, in, every, in every word that comes out of you, right? So we need to see that kind of passion. And then the, the third thing, yes, for, for three, would, would be experience. And that actually comes into there are sort of three subsets of experience. One of them is experience in starting up a company. Um, you know, if I'm going to the barber, I would like that you had learned to shave on somebody else's whiskers before you, <laughs> your first time with a razor is on my face, right? So therefore, before you spend money on my money on your company, it'd be very nice if you learned how to be an entrepreneur, learn how to do a startup on somebody else's money first. So experience in starting a company is really, really useful. And that's why investors love to invest in 
and serial entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. Number two is experience in the space you're in. We call it domain expertise. Do you know, if you're in the shoe business, do you know anything about shoes? Know anything about retail? Know anything about fashion? You certainly wouldn't go to me to start a shoe company. Um, that would not be a good idea. Um, so domain expertise. And then the, the third kind of experience is experience in the functional skills of being a early stage you know, startup CEO. Somebody, you have to have the skills of product development, like technology, sales, finance, all those kinds of things. And if you don't have those skills, we look for as many of those as we can. And if you don't have them, then you have a team around you that you built, and that's the leadership skill that, that comes into play. So those would be the top things that we look for.